Welcome online guys, Tomagotchi here, and today we're going to be playing Dungeon Dice Monsters, which is a Yu-Gi-Oh game for the Game Boy Advance. And the main reason I want to play this game is very, very simple. I like Dungeon Dice Monsters. I've been collecting them for a while now, and I'm actually very close to completing Japanese set 2, so I'm kind of excited to play this game. So let's go into it. The image is nice, but the title looks like it was painted on with MS Paint, so there. Dragon level 3 summon, and it's Magician Dragon. Shadow, but it's Black, it's not Black Ninja, the Strike Ninja, as it's called here. And Duke Devlin with Orgoth the Relentless, which honestly, I want to see Orgoth the Relentless translated into a real card in the as in the trading card game, but anyway. <laughs> D. D. M. D. D. M. It's not D and D, it's D. D. M. So yeah, um, not to brag, but I basically have the largest collection out of anyone that I personally know, and. I, I play a lot of Dungeon Dice Monsters with with friends. I bring all of mine, and then they get to choose which ones. Anyway, yes. Yes, let's pick our name here. So I... so... I don't get to play it a lot, but I... but it is... it is a lot of fun. And I'm talking, of course, about the board game. We're playing the Game Boy Advance port for it, which has completely different rules than what we play which is basically the English rules mixed in with a little bit of Japanese variety. And I want to spend this entire playthrough just talking about Dungeon Dice Monsters, why I love it so much, the different pieces of trivia that is attached to it that I just so happen to know. Yes, Tamagotchi is my name. And the very first thing I want to know is what dice I got. So let's have a look. I'm dreading this. Ooh, hang on. Baby and Curse of Dragon. One battle guard, which is okay. Uh, some level one beasts, which is alright. Penguin Soldier actually does something different in his real game counterpart, but I'll probably talk about that later. Mr. Horseman is actually super decent in this game. Um, but in this game, he's level two, and I believe, though I, sh I really should have it with me right now, but I believe Mr. Horseman is a level three in the actual game, but he works pretty much the same way, so. Okay, that's just a bonus that he's level two, right? Um, Shadow Spectre, Twin Headed Behemoth. Tw not Twin Headed Behemoth, Twin Headed Dragon. <laughs> Twin Headed Behemoth is a Dungeon Dice Monster, so I'd love to see that actually. But anyway, I'm rambling. Pump King, Karibo, which is Apprentice, Ryukushin. Mighty Mage, which is a bit problematic for us because he's the only level 4 dice in our pool and we can never use him. We cannot summon him at least. But honestly, the crests are alright. And Medical Aid Kit, which is sort of helpful, but I basically like the movement crests that are attached to it. Yeah, we're decent enough, so let's go fight our first tournament, the Lunch Cup. I did a playtest of this game no less than three times before I had to actually record, and it never it never stops amusing me. Uh, the guy second to right on the last column, next to Taya. What? <laughs> and of course we have Yugi, we have Tristan. Um, in my other test plays, I actually saw Joey, but apparently he's not here. Okay. Yep. Stringer. A gifted and capable game player of games. However, he has no love for games and uses them for nefarious ends. The instincts, skills, and strategy I learned in fights. They're all top-notch. Heaven and Earth can flip, but it won't lose. Right, now we don't need to edit. Let's get into the game. So the object of the game is to roll your dice, build a dungeon path, and attack your opponent's die master. So, so let's roll the dice and summon our first monster. I'm gonna be blunt, having having a flying monster, which is what Baby Dragon is, as your first, as your start. Um, I'm gonna put, hang on. 
Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Anyway. Dimension the dice. The dice is used up to create the path. And here's Baby Dragon, who is a flying type... Who is a flying monster. Not... Well, flying type. Flying ability. Whatever. He flies. And he cannot be attacked by anything that isn't flying or has the ability to attack flying monsters. So we're already off to a good start, so let's roll the dice. So that's okay, because we need movement crests anyway, but later on for when we attack him. Let's see what he summons. Ryukushin Powered. Uh, I'll give it this, it is the first tournament we've ever played. Uh, normally, it is not advisable to lay your path like that, because you're basically... I'll show you what I mean. See the way I've laid out my dungeon path? I'm not sure if you can see it because of the green sc green screen on the right. I've led my path directly in front of my Die Master. That's specifically so I have no path here or here where there are two alternate paths to my to my Dice Master. Uh, but anyway, let's dimension the dice again because I'm going to go straight for him because why not? Killer Needle is, is, it can't fly, despite having wings, but it does have the ability to attack flying monsters, so whatever it gets out, I'll be prepped for it. Mm, level 1 Beasts. Jurai Gummo. And yes, I know all of these off by heart. And it is a tunneling monster. Tunneling monsters can be attacked, but they basically bypass your opponent, so... Uh, nothing is blocking. Nothing is blocking it. It can always, it can always go straight. For, and you know what? I'm gonna do something a little unconventional here, because he's got all those monsters out. And I've got Mushroom Man. Mushroom Man's kind of grown on me a little bit recently, because I actually, I actually got, I actually won him off eBay. And he's one of the monsters that was not released in English. Anyway, yes, I'm going to be talking a lot of Dungeon Dice Monsters trivia and a lot of stories about why I love Dungeon Dice Monsters in the first place. But for now, let's just, uh, let's just beat this guy and check it out. Check this out. <laughs> so already we're off to a really good start. Penguin Soldier can just attack it. Nope, he cannot lay path. If he does, Mushroom Man will be in the way. So perfect. That's perfect. Already I've got him on a stump. Because he can do nothing. Ryukushin just retreated there, but it's not going to do him much good. Oh, I've got so many level 1s. Level 1s are really useful, I find. Right. Um, I'll summon Twin Edge Dragon. I don't particularly care about it too much. Right, I'm going to see if I can. I'm going to see if I can block him from... Well, he could still... Adds one trap crest to own, to own crest pool. Which is baffling because... I have two... Two twin-headed dragons. And... In the actual game, you get any crest of your choice. So it's a really handy monster to have. Anyway, I might as well just attack. And get this game over with, because this guy, this guy's lost, unfortunately. It is our first game, so it's not really gonna matter much, is it? So many level one monsters, so little time. Have I got enough attack crest? I just realized. No, which means I'm an idiot. Well, let's get skulls. Not Shadow Spectre. Yeah, this may seem a little cheap. I, I admit to that. Um, he can play. He can place path, path there, and and that's about. And that's about it. Because now he has plenty of monsters to get past. Because unless the path connects, which it obviously isn't. Anyway, I just need one more attack crest to win the game, so let's let's get let's get what we need. There we go. Plenty. 
the penguin soldier just finishes him off. And the die monster is finished. And we have our first win. Whoa! Okay! Awesome! Interesting. Anyway. Compassionate boy who deeply loves games from his heart. In tandem with dark magicians, he has been known to evoke miracles. I, first, I promise Taya and Joey that I'll believe in myself and keep battling. Till the end of this tournament, that's why I can't lose to you. This is super special. Awesome! Right. Let me just see that rabid horseman. Honestly, I'm extremely surprised that this monster has... Right, raise his attack by 10 up to twice per turn. Okay, so we can keep increasing its attack point. This is pretty much a really handy monster. And my word, getting it on my very first game in this playthrough. It, oh, by the way, I need to have a quick two attack, two movements. So let's have a look. That one offers two movements, so I don't know. Um, wait, wait, how many magic and traps? Just one magic, one trap. Uh, Pumpkin may go. Curse of Dragon can stay, because that will be help helpful. Um, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No more level threes. Well, you know what? I've got enough level ones to last me, so unfortunately, Shadow Spectre's gonna have to go. But I'll keep in Rabid Horseman. Sorry, Yugi, but this is gonna be a quick duel between you and I. Anyway. Because uh, I wanna get rid of Mighty Mage, but the crests that he provides is really really helpful so I I want to keep him for that just to be able to roll that dice and be like oh well okay right there's another strategy I like to play which it really depends on what my opponent does oh wait no 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 I don't because penguin soldier has those movement crests so And I'm already practicing another strategy of mine while I'm performing another strategy. And that's the pogo stick strategy, which is basically making a straight line directly to my opponent as quickly as possible. Right, so let's have a look then. No. I might be able to invoke this strategy. I'll tell you what it is when we get there, but I think you can already pinpoint what I'm about to do. Right. Twin Edge of Dragon in there. I need to last two more turns before I can invoke my little strategy. Dungeon, dungeon, dicey, dungeon, dungeon, dicey, dungeon, dungeon, dicey, dungeon, dicey. Unfortunately, he summoned a monster already, but that's okay. That's okay, because I've basically blocked one entire area. And he's making a run for my monsters, so... Yeah, let's get some level 2 monsters in there. Let's hope hope that I can get Mr. Corseman in there, too. Or, hang on... I'm a zombie type, though. Right. Because there's a little rule that I know is exclusive to this game. And that's attribute bonuses. So if I attack with my twin headed dragon, is that good or bad against dark types? You know what? You'll call me an idiot, but let's at least try. And another reason why I like this game is the battle animations. They're simple, but they're fun. Here's twin headed dragon, he's like, I'm staring at you. Oh. Oh, okay, so zombies and darks do not mix. I'll remember that for next time. Yeah, the guy who loves Dungeon Dice Monsters can't figure out attribute bonuses. I admit that, yes. But I really don't... Very rarely do I ever take that on board. 
All I because I I play this with mates. Basically, I don't. Wait, hold on. We, oh, also, I'm skipping the battle animations if they've already happened. So we've already seen Twin Edit Dragon attack Karibo. Ooh. Oh, oh, okay. Knights of Twin Swords is actually good. And Yugi is actually doing the smart thing by blocking me off like that. He's not attacking me though, so that's a, that's a bonus for me. I've also realized that warriors, I think, are good against... Because hmm, now I'm wondering. Well, can I at least... Or can I at least put my... Uh, I need two movement crests in order to pull that off. Let's block him off. In fact, I might even be able to make a difference here. No, I can only move once. That Knight of Twin Swords can attack me at literally any time. But you know what? Let's at least attack the Knight of Twin Swords. And I'll keep this running because I haven't seen Knight of Twin Swords defensive animation. So I'll do one for attack and one for defense for each monster that we encounter. So I need another movement crest and I can move my swab battle guard into position. And he's got the Fiend's Mirror, which is a really obscure monster. Because in the in the real in the real game it's a ritual monster that uses uh, is it Fiend's Mirror Ritual? Oh, why am I forgetting these things? Yeah. Anyway. No, I can't do that. Oh well. Hold on. No. Like this. No, I, I was gonna build a path specifically to to get away with. Ooh. No, that wouldn't work either. Um, I can use the cross formation. No, that wouldn't work. I can surround him, but that's it. Uh, oh well. You know what? You know what? This is... This, it does bring me to another reason why I do like this game a lot. It gets me thinking! And I like games where you think. You don't just spam buttons. You think. Because you have to think about what moves you're going to do. Anyway, he's not he's not damaged, so I can't use his ability anyway. He's got no movement crest. Also, he's just summoned Mammoth Graveyard, which is a very deadly monster. Because as long as it's on the field, all beast types, including mine, so that's actually not a bad thing. Right, let's get some movement crests. I've got enough monsters, let's get some movement crests. That's why I kept Mighty Mage in there. Ironically, he's the only one who doesn't provide me with crests, but that's okay. Um, now, knowing Knight of Twin Swords has high defense, uh, Mr. Horseman has 30, so at least... Wait. Wait, does, does Swamp Battleguard have an ability? Did I miss that? Oh, well. Bleh, He only lost 10 hit points. Actually, I just realized. Okay, yes. Um, he's got plenty of defense crests, so... In fact... Uh, I could damage him once. Or, you know what? I'm going to make him waste his crests. Anyway, we've seen that animation. So he's got three left. So he won't be able to do it forever. Honestly... Since he's low on attack crests anyway, let's see how Mr. Horseman hands, handles this. <gasps> oh, beasts are good against warriors. I thought it was the other way round. Bye. 
And the biggest threat on the field is gone. Right. Now, uh, the one last thing that we need to do is get to the Die Master. Which there's only one way to do it, but since Twin Edit Dragon has tunneling, it should be fine. Uh, he's got Moving Crest though. Sangan's moving into position. This is actually this is actually pretty fun, <laughs> and I I'll always love this this game for that. It's like this game is super fun. In fact, I might even wait. So if I do that, how many crests do I have? Three. Uh, let's get rid of Karibo. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to, I want to speed. Races attack by 10 once a turn. So basically it's Rabbit Horseman, just weaker. But that's okay. Um, yeah, 10. I'm not even going to need to use any. So let's get rid of Karibo. This one battle goes like, Rah! And let's attack our oh, Die Master. Well, his Die Master, what am I saying? Not my Die Master. I'll lose the game! Right, his monsters can't do squat. Right, I've got enough attack crest to win, so all I need to do is just move and do whatever I need to do. In fact, one, two, three, four, five. Nah, I, I would have needed one more. So, okay. We're winning! Since it's Yugi, I, he is providing quite the challenge. Um, unfortunately, I cannot defend my killer needle. That's okay, though. Hey, he's dying, but at least he's trying to do something. I actually have Killer Needle in its English variant, and, I, and he's one of the few Japanese monsters that I need to complete set two. In their own way, that's another reason why I love this game. All the monsters, even though most of them are generic battlers, they're still helpful to a capacity. So, Die Master is destroyed. And I won Celtic Guardian, which is actually pretty decent. And I don't get to face the fat cheeked guy, and I was hoping to do that. Anton Purrywig, a teacher who serves as Domino High's guidance counselor. He has a dev devastating secret about his head. Okay. Oh, 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 it means head of the school. Okay. Before playing games, why don't you come do something about your grades, hmm? Well, when I wipe you out now, you might be more resourceful. Ha, <laughs> remorseful. <laughs> right, 20 attack. Does it have any abilities of any kind? No. So, over Swamp Battle Guard, I'm going to keep it. But well, let's have a let's have a three. How, what's its crest count? Three movements and three magical traps. Uh, this one has attack crests on it, however. So I really, really do not know. Karibo I don't need anymore, I don't think. Yeah, let's get rid of Karibo. And have Celtic Guardian in there. Yes. He goes first. And he gets out Ryukushin. Funny enough, Ryukushin was not released in the actual game, but he was in the anime. He was the first monster that Duke summoned in the anime, which in itself was a homage to the fact that Kaiba used Ryukushin in season in the first manga. Anyway, where is it? Because I'm I'm using my poker stick strategy. Pogo stick strategy, just beeline for his monsters. Have Baby Dragon protect my Die Master, because it cannot attack with anything that isn't flying. 
Also, Ryukashin is a really weak monster, and I'm, I'm sad to say it really isn't worth using. It still has a use. It still has a use. I still stand by my other other scenario. So, boom, kill a needle. He's got level one dice now. So, ooh, but he's not rolling squat. Right, I'm so close to him I can taste it. So let's roll these level two dice and get nothing. I should be able to connect Dungeon Path next turn, though. Okay, so he's, he's doing the same thing. He's moving Ryukushin, which is weird, but okay. Nice. I'm going to get the Mystic stick horseman in there and connect. The pogo stick strategy works like a charm. And just to bait him out. Because if we, because the ability of Mr. Horseman is, if he's taken damage, I can increase his attack by ten for each damage counter it has on it. And since it has, since it has forty HP, oh, he summoned Dragon Piper, which, oh wait, it does hinder me a little bit, but not by much. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna see if I can attack Ryukushin. Nope. Anyway, Baby Dragon cannot... In fact, let's have a look at Dragon Piper. It hinders Dragon-type monsters, I know that. Limits Dragon-type monsters to one move, two turns in play. That's extremely vague, and I don't like, I don't like the way that's presented. I think it just slows Dragon-type monsters down. Oh well, Hitatsumi Giant. He is, and Ryukushin still isn't attacking me for some reason. I'm gonna use movement crests and attack crests. Let's roll them up. We've got some movement, but not any attack. And I would like to attack. He's summoning monsters, but he's not really doing any, doing anything against me. Nothing but attack crests now. Come on! Attack crests! No! Shooby doo boo ba ba! Yes. Defense crest. It can attack me, but I, I, think he, I think he knows that my Mystic Horseman is strong. Come on! Yes! Still need one more to launch the finishing blow, but at least I'm doing something. So it's your turn. Roll the dice, and he summons Komori Dragon. Yes, he's giving me alternate paths, and that's not actually smart. Okay. And there we go, we've basically beaten the game. There's nothing he can do. Kaboom. Can I finish this in one minute or less? Because it's getting close to that time where I'll have to log off. Oh well. <laughs> Until next time guys, this is Tomagotchi. We'll be killing this guy in the next episode. So until then, <laughs> stay tuned. Ah, uh, actually, let's, let's finish by killing him. Till next time, guys, this is Tomagotchi, signing off. I win! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click, 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 Tomagotchi.